Would you ever take a chance to fly on a plane across the world? I have one person in mind. Me, Amelia Earhart. My life was full of such hard work and perseverance that kept me going forward in my life and do the thing I wanted to do most. I was born on July 24, 1897 in Natchez, Kansas. My lovely parents were Amelia O. Earhart and Terry Wilson Earhart. My only sibling was my sister Grace Muriel Earhart. During the school year, I'd go with my grandparents in Missouri, and during the summer, I'd go with my parents in Kansas City. Eventually, I graduated from Highland Park School in 1915, which was a big accomplishment in my life. While I was growing up, I became interested in a lot of boyish things. I enjoyed adventures, mechanical things, sports, and games. People in my community would make fun of me because I liked the things that were meant for boys. When I, I faced a lot of challenges in my life. Another challenge was my parents getting divorced and my father dying of stomach cancer on September 23, 1930. When I soon became an adult, I got married to a wonderful, loving man named George Putnam in 1931. He supported me in the one thing I wanted to do most, fly a plane. When I rode a plane with Frank Hawk, he gave me the idea to start to learn how to fly a plane. I took my first ever flying lesson, which was got me more into harder events on flying a plane. I, Amelia Earhart, want to be known as someone. Someone special, like the first ever woman to fly a plane across the world. I took that chance and people thought I was insane. On July 1st, 1937, I said my final goodbyes. I took off and headed around the world. And about halfway through the Pacific, my plane had a malfunction, which made me crash into the Pacific and end up dying. As my community found out something was off, and they got to conclude my disappearance on July 2nd, 1937, they were devastated. But it didn't matter if I died. I want to be known as the first ever woman to fly a plane almost all the way across the world with 19 hours and 5 minutes, which became the fastest transcontinental flight by a woman. My future goal is granted. The last sentence I wanted to say was, women must do as men have tried. When they fail, their failure must be but a challenge. Thank you. All right.